On this video I'm going to show you how to wire up the relay board that can be attached to the latest version of the Megapoints controller board. Rather than start with this, which is a board you're used to seeing, I thought I'd pair it right back and go to basics. So we'll start with an unconfigured, unconnected Megapoints controller board. We'll add the external voltage regulator so we can bring the extra power in and then we'll connect the relay board up so that you can see it in use. And I think it will also be useful to have a servo running as well so that you can see how it will work when it's all hooked up together. Originally the relay board was going to be controlled by a completely separate product that would connect to the Megapoints network but I managed to work out how we could adapt the board that we already have to drive the relays directly. So to begin we start with the external high voltage regulator. We connect it to the supplied Y lead into one of the female sockets red to red black to black and we connect the other end into pin 6 or 7 or output 6 or 7 on the board. So I'll go for pin or for output number 7. Next I'll arrange a 12 volt supply into this. I'll run it through a switch. So I have a little switch here and let's connect red to red which should be this cable and I'll run the other lead through a crocodile clip to the negative. So if I turn it on we can see the Megapoints control unit is now working and it's taking supply through this. You can see the, uh, the light flashing away. Okay, power off. Now the reason I've used a Y lead here is because we're taking up one of the outputs for the servos and using the Y lead you can also connect a servo onto the other side so you don't actually lose any of the outputs. So the servo is also connected to output number seven in this case. It's probably a good opportunity to show you the pop-on configuration board as well. Those of you who have uh, quite a few Megapoints controllers and multi-panels will probably be familiar with this. The way it works is where you have all of the switch connectors here, instead of having to go and connect switches individually, you can just drop this on. And now I have 12 switches wired up plus all the memory buttons. So it saves me an awful lot of wiring when I'm testing and, and generally playing with the unit. So let's prove this. If I turn it on, the servo is ready and I've connected this to output 7 which is this. So if I move the switch you can see the servo working. So I have power coming in through the high current voltage regulator into the board via this and I also have the servo working on the same socket. The relay board has a single connector here and all of the connections will happen through this. It's supplied with this cable which will attach thus. So what you want to make sure is that the black outer goes to GND and on the opposite side the red outer goes to VCC. That means you have the correct supply. At the opposite end of this cable you'll see there's one servo looking plug with three pins and three individuals. This will give you a connection to the power and also to relay number one. So I'm going to plug this into servo connector number one. The white lead goes towards the processor because the white on this lead is the signal. On the other end of the other cable attached to the relay board we have signal inputs for two, three and four. And if you look at the relay connector, you can work out which one is each, which. So in two is black, three is red, and four is white. Black, red, and white will give you inputs for relay two, relay three, and relay number four. So let me connect these as well. So I have the relay board now connected to the Megapoints controller. 
So when the relay is first connected, the Megapoints controller is outputting a servo signal. So the relays will be on and you'll have effectively no control until we set the right mode on the Megapoints controller. The relay is designed to operate from mode 5, which is on off, or mode 6, which will send a half second pulse to a relay to turn it on for a short period every time you toggle the switch. So let's go ahead and set up mode 5 for these four relays. Program. Now on program mode I can see the left LED is flashing once, that's telling me I'm programming channel 1 and the red LED is flashing once which tells me I'm in mode 1. So we want to go to mode 5 so I'll press the mode button four more times. One, two, three, four. Now if you count the red light flashes, three, four, five, so it's in mode 5. Now I'll advance to channel 2, 2 and I'll press it four times. One, two, three, four. Advance to channel 3, one, two, three, four, and advance to channel four. One, two, three, four. Channel five, channel six, channel seven, channel eight, channel nine, channel ten, channel eleven, channel twelve, and back to run. So now when I operate switches one to four, we should see some output on the relay. There's one, relay one. Up switch number two, and three, oops, Maybe where you can see it. There's two, there's three, and there's four. And if we look at channel seven, which still has the servo on it, I can move this. You see we've still got the servo operating normally as well. Let's turn the relays off. Four, three, two, and one. Now if you're operating something like a dapole semaphore that needs a pulse, then you can set the mode on a channel to mode six and it will drive a pulse for you. So let's change channel one and two to uh, the pulse program. Now we can see that this is already set for mode five, so I only have to press it once. Go to channel two, press it once, three. Instead of going through the channels, just turn the board off and on. So now when I operate the switch for number one, you'll see the relay will flash for half a second. There's your pulse, turn it off, flash. Let me try and get channel two, flash. flash. Whereas three and four will work with the switch. Three and four. Now if you're thinking, well, what's the point of having a relay connected through a microprocessor to what is essentially an on-off switch, you'd probably be right to ask the question. But don't forget, the real power of the Megapoints controller is when it's being controlled by a multi-panel. So if I take this multi-panel, there's a multi-panel board here connected to a battery, and I connect it with a network lead to the servo controller, All I have to do now is set slave mode. Now the board boots and lights to a different pattern. So now instead of having the buttons, I'm controlling it through the network. Relay one, relay two, they're pulsing. Relay three, relay four, which is an on off. And I think we have the servo in seven. There we go. So we're operating the servo and the relay. Thanks for watching.